Yo, welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward with Justin and Ulam. We have just finished our second puzzle and are proceeding on to our third story segment. Another elevator, huh? Do you think it works? I don't know. Only one way to find out, though. Hey, someone's coming. Well, hopefully that's good news and not bad. Yep. Looks like... Well, that's not everyone, though. Oh, that's just one group, right? Because each group is three, group, three people. Looks like Alice, Clover, and Kay. Oh, and no, 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 Yep, everybody here. Okay, why are you guys running? Our puzzle wasn't time-based. Perhaps there's Lars. What's going on here? a little bit ago. Well, not literally, of course. And yet, here you oh, are, panting as though you've been with sprinting. With a prowl like that, I imagine you run into a lot of things. Okay, that was rude. Let me see the map. <laughs> ah, I get it. All three routes end up here. the map we found yeah. in the infirmary. Alright. Oh, we found a map like that too. Ours was in the crew quarters. <laughs> so, three maps so that each group would definitely find one. Hmm. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. No. Like what? There's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. Is the elevator on a time gate? I don't think so. The chromatic doors were. Elevator animation could have come a lot faster. By the way, animation. <laughs> what the? Oh, this is just like the other floor. Ah, These doors is it? have colors on them too. I wonder why it would be. The one on the left is green. The one in the middle is blue. And the one on the right is red. Are these chromatic doors? Look. One would assume. There's a box here. It looks like the ones we saw earlier. Yep. So, hit the things and find out how long we have till these open. Yeah, it won't budge. Yeah, just like the other doors. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. No kidding. So, Is somebody gonna check wrong, their watch? Ellis? You've been staring at your bracelet. Yeah, is someone gonna check? No, I'm fine. But it looks like my guess was right. The numbers uh -huh. have changed. Oh, really? Oh yeah, the time left. Yeah, no kidding. Two hours? Yeesh! Oh, for fuck's sake. You telling me we're gonna have to just sit around here for another two hours? Well, unless it's two minutes. Hmm. Looks like we don't have a choice then. We gotta head back. Quark, why don't you show them that note we found? Sure. Oh? Did it say something like, supplementary rules? Because if oh, it did, we have one I don't too. Think we got we one. found ours in the infirmary. Yeah, we found one too. Really? I don't remember supplementary rules. It's just safe in the lounge. Oh, is that why I didn't know where to find? So yeah, it was the what we got from the gold key, I guess, or gold file. Here are a few more rules for you. Once you've opened a door, you can hop through it as much as you like. The chromatic doors are like that too. Oh wait, yeah, no, I definitely remember having read this. Yeah, so yeah, we definitely know. Once you open them, even I care, keep them going in and out of them. Any color bracelet, yeah, once they've been opened, but, 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 you have to escape before you can take advantage of the free reign rule. Once you've activated the chromatic door and gone through to the puzzle beyond, it won't let you go back until you've solved the puzzle. Yeah, yeah, we already read that part. If that's true, then we can all go back the way we came and get into the warehouse. I don't saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. Otherwise, okay, sure, why not? the point of that key card? You okay, mean this? I guess that's a point. The ambidex room key. Oh right, yeah. We found some too. It did imply that the ambidex room would be in between every set of chromatic doors. <laughs> For the whole point of the AB game, getting these points. Let's head back to the warehouse. Ah, uh, so when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? Hmm. If you don't or like just it, stay do it. here. Stupid, angry mutt watching the door sounds about right. Okay, Asshole. calm yourself. Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. 
All right, so, but he still goes along well, with the what's joke. It going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? Who cares? Start walking back and see if he does or doesn't. All right, fine. I'm going. Yes, I'm aware of the path back. Don't you bring that map back up. Okay, no, so, we're stopping to have a conversation this in is here the in the lounge. lounge. It would seem Zero's notes were telling the truth. Getting back here was easy enough. That means Meaning we could all open. go visit the infirmary too. Or oh, the crew have a reason to? Hey, Grandpa, check this out. It's some of your favorite scotch. Oh, ho. Uh, tempting. But I don't really think now's the time. If not now, when, really? <laughs> Whoa, hold on. Grandpa? Since when were they buddies? Or had they always been that close? In other words, they'd known each other before the Nonary game, and if Quark were calling Tenmyoji Grandpa, maybe they were even related. Alice and Clover seemed to be close too. Just how many of these people knew each other already? Let's go, well, buddy. going off the last Nonary game, probably all of them. We're probably the last person to know. As soon as we get out of here, I can drink all the scotch I want. You can drink all the root beer floats you can stomach. What? You're gonna get me a root beer float? He's like, I didn't say that. But if you find one, you can drink all the ones you find. <laughs> are, are you sure? Do you have enough money? Oh, ye of little faith. I found an old factory full of rare earth metals the other day. What? It's not just something you find. Yeah, here. Just cut to this scene after it. I can connect the dots. Yep, so that's not changed. Though, why would we have expected it to? Okay, yeah. Oh, you're finally done. You were taking so long. I hopped off for a little nap. Yeah, that's why you were still right Nothing. in the center of the screen. Yawning? Really? You're just a computer program. You don't get tired. Hey, B.O. My temper's got a hair trigger, and you're awfully close to pulling it. So I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Really? Because we've pretty much all been sassy you during that earlier Otherwise, segment. Well, do you really need me to spell it out? Uh, forget it. <laughs> That's a good boy. Alrighty, let's get back to what we were talking about earlier. Oh, please don't be 30 Maybe. more minutes of instructions. How do you get more BP? It's gonna be 30 more minutes of instructions. <laughs> we go into the AB rooms, right? Look, yep, we got the keys. Okay, and Cork have two each, so we got six all together. who goes into what room? <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Anybody can go into any room. But there are only six rooms. Didn't I hmm. tell you? The two members of a pair share the same destiny. Oh, right, so it's still three and three and three. Then you mean both members of a pair need to go into the same room? Yeah. <laughs> that would follow. What do we do after we go into the room? Play. A game, just like it yeah. says on the door. You play the Ambidex game! Wait, what's Ambidex supposed to mean anyway? I would guess it's short for ambidextrous. Most use the word to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands, instead of favoring the left or right. But it can also be taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two-faced. I've never heard it used in that second sense, but okay. It's a game of betrayal, then. Yes, you could put it that way. And what's the nonary game? Oh, that refers to the whole enchilada. The nonary game is a game where you try to open the number nine door and escape. The ambidex game is just a mini game you play as part of the larger one. Makes sense? Like hell. This shit is confusing. Is huh? it? Really? Or is it that you're What do you think, Bianca? Yeah, we're getting tired. Bastard. <laughs> well, that's just how I am, so you better get used to it. Ah, uh, now, could I have you all move to the AB room, please? I'll give you more specifics once everyone's inside. What's up with the sudden southern I accent? Think it'll probably be easier to understand that way. She's jumping between accents. Kay, Quark, and myself each gave one card to Luna, Alice, and Tenmyoji, and we headed into the AB room. Wasn't really any discussion of who to go into which door, and Fi and I found ourselves heading into the left of those three. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Looks like everybody else has gone in already. Why are you Maybe asking me? Too? Just hurry up and get in there. Okay, okay. <clears throat> An Ambidex gate has been opened. Several, actually. That's a little late. Forty-five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. <laughs> what? This game's got a time limit, too? Well, probably relatively. What? Yeah, alright. What the hell? Who is this? I know. More dead bodies. Nothing new for us, Look, really. It doesn't matter who she is. Just get everybody over here. Uh, the screaming of what the hell? Who's this? Didn't do the trick? The doors are all open. Hey, guys, guys, get over here. We found someone. There's a lady over here. Uh, the word is body, but uh, she's unconscious. Oh, okay, so you haven't checked pulse yet, but we've not found living people not part of the nonary game before, so stands to reason. I didn't wait for a response, just turned around and followed Fi into the room. We knelt down next to the woman and turned her over as gently as we could manage. All that greeted us was, yeah, go figure. Blood. She's covered in blood. I mean, that's not covered, but... I leaned down to listen at her mouth. Nothing. No breath. With shaking hands, I felt against her neck for a pulse. No movement, just cold skin. <laughs> just like the last time. What the hell were you yelling at? What's going on here? Is she? Quark, don't look! Somebody get Quark out of okay. here! <laughs> I called for you all, not saying Quark don't come, but then now, oops, forgot. C come on, Quark! Then... she's... Yeah, she's not breathing and I can't find a pulse. Her body's already cold, so I'm guessing she was... I'm guessing she was murdered a while ago. Murdered? Well, unless you think this looks like an accident... Yeah, that's... <laughs> Does this look like an accident or a suicide? Hmm. Looks like she was stabbed. Don't see a weapon around here, though. That means either the killer took it with them, or it was part of them. Sure, that's reasonable. Part of them? Oh, weird. Well, if someone was strong enough and they had metal hands, then they might be able to stab oh, someone I in see the heart. They're trying, she's trying what to are you suggesting? Yeah, what do you think she's suggesting? Don't take it so seriously. <laughs> it's a potential accusation of murder, so I don't think that you should Whatever. be joking about it, then. If we examine the wound, we'll probably get a better idea of what the weapon was. Let's get her to the infirmary. She might be old, but she's still a woman. If we're going to do an autopsy, she should have some privacy. Come on, boys, let's go. Alright. Beneficial that the infirmary was on this floor, I guess, rather than the <laughs> one below that we can't get into for two hours. D.O.K. and I gingerly lifted the woman up woman up, and carried her to the infirmary. Perhaps he just didn't consider himself one of the boys, or maybe it was something else. Oh, Tenmyoji. Oh, but whatever the reason, Tenmyoji only stared. Should have advanced the text, I was wondering how that was supposed to mean anything. His whole body was rigid, like a rope pulled almost to its breaking point. But it was his eyes that caught my attention. He wasn't staring at us, not quite. It was more like he was staring toward us, a smoldering spark of something burning silently behind his eyes, or gaze. It wasn't until we were almost to the infirmary that I realized Tenmyoji hadn't spoken a single word since the moment we'd found the body. I turned to look back at him. He was following at us at a distance, his breathing heavy and labored, and his movements slow and shuffling as if his body was suddenly made of lead. Suspicious. Oh my goodness, just flash the infirmary screen and get to it. Yes, this, not the two previous ones. The old woman's body was surprisingly light. Carrying her felt almost like carrying an old dry piece of wood. We set her down carefully in the infirmary bed as if we were afraid she might break. She looks so peaceful. Almost like she's just going to wake up any minute now with a hole in her chest. Maybe she didn't suffer much when she died. Let's hope so. Anyway, I feel a little bad about doing this, but I think we need to examine her. You mean like an autopsy or something? That is what I'm you said I'm just going or... to have a look at the wound. If we had a coroner, then it would be a different story, but... Um... 
What? <laughs> what, do you happen to be I one? I have a medical license. All right, You're a fine, nurse? Then. No. You're a doctor? No, I'm not exactly a coroner. Interesting. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover, can you? That's Sorry. A touch rude. You don't need to apologize. Are you really going but to perform an autopsy? Oh, um, I won't really be doing it. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called right. an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Oh, yeah? And just how the hell do you remember that? Because Alice, Clover, and I examine this entire room. <laughs> so, you think yes. you can use it to perform an I autopsy? I think I should be able to manage that. Alright. Luna ran the scanner over the body, then turned back to the terminal. The display filled up with text, most of it rather technical. Female, 65, 75, deceased, exsanguination, three to four hours ago. Weapon entered through fourth inter- I didn't know it was a weapon, but okay. Fourth intercostal piercing heart, clean, continuous, one sharp, one blunt. Blah, blah, based on the characteristics described above, 97% chance the wound was caused by a sharp, single-bladed instrument. So a knife. Yeah, I don't really get it. What's it mean by instrument? Was she stabbed with a clarinet? It means a tool of some sort. A knife, probably. In other words, she was stabbed in the heart, right? Yes. Well, that's I suppose pretty that direct. clears me of suspicion. Sorry, but um, no. How? Why? Please, don't tell me you think my hand can somehow turn into a knife. I told you that was a joke. Then why am I still a suspect? Well, cause We found the old lady in one of the knife. AB rooms. <laughs> you specifically, too. the one farthest to the left. Mm -hmm. Before we went in oh, there, the none of us only two in. other people had been in that room. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, indeed. Dylan, Quark, Timmyoji, Alice, us. So, yeah, she's definitely playing K, and who's the other person missing? Um. Oh, Clover. Who was unconscious. Hmm, yeah, that is suspicious. You. And Clo only one of you was conscious. Fi, please, stop joking around. Oh, but now you're acting like you, you believe she's still joking. There was no one else in that room besides Clover when I woke up. Really she now? put there later. But the door That's was locked, impossible. right? I don't think anyone could have gotten in without the key. Yeah, I don't think that Kay's implying Perhaps, it was one of us. There was a hatch on the ceiling, the remember? Yes, there was. But Zero said he locked all the hatches. Yeah, well, if he was telling the truth, nobody could have gotten in there after you two left. Which means... Fucking bastard! Why'd you kill her, Kay? Well, uh, no. Or... The rabbit is lying, which we should absolutely be believing. You're him, aren't you? You're the real Zero. Wait a minute, please. Just calm down. You aren't making sense. Let's suppose I am Zero. Why would I do something that would obviously cast suspicion on me? The... Uh... Well, because... because you figured we'd think that. And you'd throw us off the trail <laughs> by doing the exact opposite. Which then means that this is absolutely evidence of nothing. That's not period. a logical argument. Still, you do have at least half a point. Your argument doesn't confirm my guilt, but it does show us where we should be looking. The real Zero. The person who brought us here is likely the person who murdered that woman. Doesn't that seem like the most reasonable answer? I sure, guess. although we've pretty much yeah, all been together ever since leaving the room, so... If Zero was the murderer, then they could open anything they wanted to. Hmm, I wonder where she's getting this idea. I mean, didn't Zero say something about that? I don't... Hmm. Oh, I in the master computer. Oh, she's talking about the That means rabbit. all of the electronic doors in this... Oh, uh, yeah. No, I thought she was talking about the one of us who we all think is zero. Exactly. Also, but consider sure, this. Yeah, that also, I guess, if the murderer sense. isn't zero, why would the AI zero stay silent? He told us that his job was to make sure the game ran smoothly. So yeah, apparently somehow but now the unexpected is happening. Is considered. He says nothing. Why would he do that? If he can see everything we do, then he must know who killed the old woman. So why has he kept his silence? The answer is simple. The murderer is zero. Or rather, Zero Senior, I suppose you could say. He likely ordered Zero Junior, the AI, 
to keep his identity hidden. If Zero Jr. told us about the murder, then Zero Sr.'s identity would be compromised. Only if it was you. No one else there was, was in this room. to consider as well. Perhaps this murder was not unexpected. Zero Sr. murdered her. Justice planned. Uh -huh. Death is only another part of the game. Killing someone is just part of the game well, to him? There's no way to know for sure, but I would assume so. Given the deathly bracelets! <laughs> Ten minutes remain until all well, players I guess we gotta focus leave on that. if no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed. Any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Okay. That didn't sound so bad. It's not a penalty at any rate. I don't Whoa, know. Who's that? Well, one thing's for sure. If we don't and go vote, is... something bad's going to happen. Ally didn't sound like a bad you thing. See? Just as I said, Zero Jr. ensures the game continues, even though someone has died. All of this is part of Zero Sr.'s plan. Let's get back to the warehouse. If we all head to the A-B rooms, maybe we'll see Zero Jr. After all, he told us he'd give us specifics once we'd gone in. Yeah, we were all in. Found this body. No specifics were given. Don't you dare. Cutting out these transitions is going to be a nightmare for editing, but whatever. We're really going in there? I kind of don't want to. I mean, there was a dead lady in there just a few minutes ago. Huh? Wait, Fi? Where'd you go? Ah, she's checking the uh, thingy. What the hell is she doing? She's seeing if it's actually locked, I assume. You must be really desperate Seriously? to get high. That's the best you can do? I was expecting something about how I jump at the first sign of trouble. But this isn't the first sign. This is after we've already come back. Whatever. What are you up to up here anyway? Everybody's already gone into yeah, the AB well, rooms, which, remember, was your suggestion. There was something I wanted to check out. Yeah, this whether thing, or not the thing is locked. It? Yeah, so... Try hatch. opening it. Yep, alright. So it is locked. No luck. Hmm. Old budge. Then that means this AB room is locked down tight. No one could get in. And yet we've already established that it really doesn't matter because the rabbit can unlock the doors and then relock them. You're talking about whoever killed that old yeah. lady, aren't you? You still think it's Kay, huh? Well, like Clover said, if Zero Senior is the killer, then it wouldn't matter if we could open this hatch I know. Or not. I just wanted to be sure. Okay. Yeah. Five, Five minutes, minutes now. Yeah. Let's go. I imagine Algernon's waiting for us. Uh, he's a rabbit. That. Uh, Wrong emphasis. Uh, he's a rabbit, not a rat, uh, not a mouse. Look, there's something right. on the screen. Yeah, you're right. To whiteness. Ah, here we go. The Embedex game will now begin. To enter your vote, please touch the start button on your screen. Once you have entered your vote, the door will lock automatically. It will not open again until the polling period is finished. future Justin cutting in again. Unfortunately, this episode once again ran on way too long, and instead of cutting it where I could have, I misjudged how long the talking parts would go, so uh, unfortunately both this and the next episode will be mostly talking and not just a ton of gameplay. Sorry, that's just kind of the way this game is going to work for some of these segments, so uh, thanks for watching. We will catch you next time.